We are having our second drive-in church service due to the COVID-19 virus. And so we're asking everyone to stay in their cars so they'll be safe. And we are keeping the number under what the governor and mayors ask us to uh, as, as we're coming to just have service out in the parking lot. And so we're, while mo many of our people watch out in the parking lot, there are others at home that can't come. And so we're streaming the service to them at the same time. Support it, our church wants to do it. We'll be here, we'll be here to support it. We'll be here to do it too. Well, we're part of the body of Christ. So we are here to worship. Any way we can get together and worship, even if it's from a social distance or a distance away, we want to come together and worship. It's a, it's a great church. Uh, we get to get out, get out of the house and uh, enjoy some great worship. And the message is always on time. If you stick around and listen to what Pastor Darrell has to say, it's going to be A, from the Bible, and B, it's going to be relevant to what's going on right now. It was incredible. Tell it, them what about it was incredible last week. We, you know, uh, when the restrictions over this virus were coming about, we had a, a meeting, all of our team together, and uh, drive-in church was one of the things on our list of ideas, and we thought it might be the last thing that we did. But as the restrictions increased, we thought this is the best idea. So we're doing live outdoor worship on a stage. We came up with uh, uh, come as you are and stay in your car so we can keep everyone safe. And we had over a thousand views on our Facebook page, on the Facebook Live mm -hmm. streaming, and we had over a hundred people in our parking lot, families together in their cars, some had their dogs with them, um, all the kids together, and um, you know, it, we, the governor said it was an essential business, uh, faith, based services and we believe that for sure and especially in this time where people are afraid and losing their jobs and not knowing what the future is going to be um, that we can all come together and be thankful for what we have and be thankful for what God's going to do in everyone's lives.